After you guys enjoyed my first video, I decided to bring it back after I received this comment. Personally, I don't really see the appeal of the art style. I don't know. It just feels a bit restrictive, if that makes sense. And the shading kind of keeps me out low. Though, I would love to see people attempt to draw actual expressions in this style. I suppose this is also kind of why I'm not a very huge fan of semi-realistic art, as it's often very expressionless. I enjoyed your video, though, and the art came out pretty nice. And that gave me a great idea. Thank you, kitty boy. You often go online and see expressionless art. It makes you wonder... I mean, the art is amazing, but are they dead inside? And in general, I have an honest question. Is the majority of the art community on Instagram and TikTok, are they scared of illustrating characters with expression? Like imagine drawing someone pooping on the toilet. Hear me out. Hear me out. And all you see when you look at their face is them being cute or the popular Sag cute girl pout. <laughs> like what? I've never seen someone took majestic shits. That isn't even realistic. Draw that girl taking a fat one, all right? Look, it's just the same face over and over and over again. You love it at first, but seeing the same thing over and over again, I can agree that it will start turning into something you dislike. And that's how I'm changing it up today. You've seen the jelly art style. Same expression across the board, puffy watery eyes, cute girl cries. Not gonna lie, there are people out there that like to see cute girls cry. Yeah, I'm talking about you, Peachy. Today I'll be drawing in the jelly art style once again, showcasing different expressions. So you're wondering, how are we gonna start this off? Well, of course, with a good old reference from my brother in Christ, Pinterest, y'all. The best reference for this exercise will be Disney expressions. For the longest time, even up to this day, Disney is known for their expressive characters. You'd probably ask, yeah, but why didn't you use yourself as reference for the expressions? Great question! I was a bit lazy, and I didn't want to look at my ugly mug. Girl wasn't slaying that day, and I didn't want to risk cracking my phone camera. <clears throat> Overall, for me, Disney expressions are simplified and makes it easier to study how to draw human emotions. I saw that one of you guys enjoyed seeing the sketching process from the videos. It's awesome to learn that it brings about improved ideas for you all during the sketching phase. So for the future art videos, I'll make sure to keep in that juicy, painful sketching process. Why do you guys like seeing me suffer? <laughs> Not gonna lie though, I, uh, I struggled. And I almost had an angerism when trying to incorporate the jelly art style with the exaggerated expressions. Just process. Just process. Just process. Just the process. <laughs> <laughs> During this, it had me wondering how stiff this art style might be. Am I the only one that's like, damn? I've been doing art for half of my life, and I still struggle. Might as well just... Now time for the most exciting part. The shading! I love, I love, I love, I love shading. It was time to bring the sketch to life. Firstly, I made separate layers. The skin, hair, and eyes are on different layers. Line art layer is alpha locked, so I can add a lighter color to it. For the skin and the hair, I went in with gradients and a bit of light shading in some areas. After that is done, all the layers are then merged together to get right into painting. Bro? I spent a lot of time shading these sniffers. This is why I don't do noses in my actual art. Uh, I just don't. I'm not the only one, right? I don't do a lot of digital painting in general. I'm more involved in cell shading. Breaking away from my usual art style to explore other art styles has taught me a number of things to improve my own art style. Let me know what other art styles out there you guys want me to consider trying. For example, I think maybe trying the Colleen Zazification art style would be an interesting video. Let me know what do you think below. With this art style, there isn't anyone out there doing exaggerated expressions or anything else too interesting. Interesting. So I'm glad to be the first, somewhat 
down on this art style because the only thing interesting about it is the use of colors, the big glossy eyes, and glossy lips. Personally, I wouldn't look down on any art style. There is so much to explore and it can be innovated upon over time. I would say this video is an example of how artists out there can be inspired to explore more with their art style and improve along the way. Honestly, on another note, I'm so happy to have left the Instagram art grind. I felt like I put myself in a box trying to appease an impossible algorithm. Like, you gotta upload art every day. Um, excuse me, I'm not AI. I had to create art based on the standards of art on Instagram. And oh lord, did I try. I tried my dimmit darndest. It was both mind numbing and I got burnt out. So much to the point where I didn't even draw for almost six months straight. Just thug it out, little bitch. I can't. I can't. I can't thug this one out. I can't possibly thug this one out. One thing you can always count on with me is that I'm gonna give up. Somebody needs to hear this right now. Respect yourself, stand up. When I started to focus on myself, my art started to improve after the burnout phase. I never really looked back on Instagram. All I see is emotional damage. <laughs> but hey, I'll tell you more about that and how I improved my art in another video, so don't forget to subscribe. The reason I mention Instagram overall is to remind the artists out there to not put themselves in a box because that is what constantly gets likes. Draw for yourself to balance it out and so you don't, you know, start hating your art. That's the last thing you would want. Here are the results. Honestly, it came out way better than I expected, all right? I was just in the trust the process. But hey, I've learned a lot from this. Every art video that I've been making nowadays, I have just keep on learning and learning. And I hope you guys have been too. So don't forget to like and subscribe. Stick around for more art videos. And hey, I recommend that you guys should also try this as well also yes vacation art style video coming soon so uh stay tuned for that one thank you for watching and goodbye
It's been a good